welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do a set on my hand um, I haven't done one of these for a while I've just been so busy doing all sorts of things so I actually have got a spare hour or so so I thought I'd do a set with you um, I'm doing not using all uh, glitter planet products today so the glitters apart from one one product um, everything else I'm using is glitter planet um, so obviously I've already applied my tips. These are the stiletto, uh, stiletto tips from Glitter Planet, and I'm just going in um, with a nail bed area here. I'll go through um, everything I've used at the end of the video. So as I said, I've just been super busy. Obviously I do work um, full time as well as doing nails. Um, so I've just been working full time and just had so much going on. So I hope everyone is doing well. Every time I do do one of these videos though, I feel like we're getting a step closer to normality. So hopefully it won't be that much longer. So I've just gone in there. Um, with a core powder from Glitter Planet, just covering, just covering that nail bed area really. It's a gorgeous light pink that one. I'm just gonna put a bit more out. Gone quite enough. Um, gone quite close enough to the cuticle. I hope this camera angle is okay um, for everyone. And my head doesn't get in the way or anything. So obviously just cleaning up around that cuticle area. And then I'm going to go in with um, a marble at the bottom of here. So I've just got some pastel colours. So I'm just going to pop them at the bottom. my white then so I really want a bit of a marble I'm just going to put a little bit more blue in that so just a little bit more of the white So I'm going to go in with some glitter in between both of them. Every time I come to film, I always feel like I start getting a stuffy nose and things. So annoying. <laughs> okay, with this one, I'm going to go in with this nail bed colour, but at the bottom of the tip. Rather than the top. I find this colour to be like a like a glassy pink. Um, what's it called? I'll just have a look what it's called. It's called milky pink. Um, so yeah, it is a really nice colour. My husband had his COVID jab on Tuesday, so that's good. Um, he had a, a brain tumour, my husband, when he was uh, 10. Um, so that's why he's been able to have his vaccine, even though it doesn't affect him or anything now. Um, he did ring the doctors because I was worried because they sent him a message saying because of his underlying health condition. 
um, he'll get this COVID jab, but we're both like, well, you don't have an underlying health condition. So he rang his doctors on uh, Monday. I just asked them how come he was having it and, and that was the reason. I'm just going over here just with a bit of the pink just to deepen that slightly, just to deepen that um, core powder slightly. Um, yeah, so we did ring them. Um, and they said that was the reason. So that put my mind at rest. Uh, sorry, my mind at rest somewhat. So yeah, he had that on Tuesday. He wasn't the best yesterday. He still went to work and everything. Um, but yeah, he was. It did knock him for six a bit. But absolutely fine today. Absolutely fine. No problems at all. So it is worth it. It is for the greater good. So I just want to get mine now. I think mine might be a while down the line. So I've just uh, done the same with that one. Just made it just slightly darker. I just wanted that pink just a slightly bit darker. Okay, so I'm going to go in um, with this absolutely gorgeous glitter. I need to be careful with this with my long nails on. Hopefully that's going to focus. Oh, my camera was doing this the other day. Oh, it just does not want to focus. Oh, I don't actually know what's wrong with it. It's driving me mad. Is there any better? Nope. Nope. Right, so this is the glitter. It's called Hazy from Glitter Planet. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I'll just open my clear. So I'm just gonna get a little dot of my clear, get some of that hazy, and just pop that on. And just spread that out. So yeah, let me know. Um, in the comments if you've had your jab yet or anything or when you're hoping to get it obviously they have said in the uk i think they've said um the end of july every adult will have been offered it so that's good But it's gorgeous. I think it's actually the first time I've ever used this um, glitter. I think it is more one of my recent ones, to be fair. I don't think I've had it all that long. It's really nice. I hope this, I'm just going to check that I'm, it's focusing on the nails. Yeah, it looks like it's focusing fine on the nails. Uh, I'm just going to go in around the edge with um, an acrylic glitter. In fact, I'm going to go over all that glitter with that because it's gorgeous. Just gives it that little bit, that little bit extra, that glitter. A little bit more sparkle. You can't get enough sparkle if you ask me. So, on this one, I'm going to do a full marble. So just at the top, I'm just going to go in with a few of the acrylics just together and just push that up into the cuticle and then I don't have to go try getting my marble right into that cuticle then. I'm going to go in with a cute um, bead of pink. Bead of the lilac, bead of the blue. I think these acrylics are actually a collection I got. I think. I think I actually got these as a collection. Okay, and I'm just going to go in and just marble that. Obviously, I'm not messing with it too much. I don't want to make it all in into one mush. Just 
make sure those sides are neatened up. I'm just going to go in with just a touch, just a touch of the blue, just to bring some of the blue into the top of that. I'm just going to get some more beads. These ones don't need to be as big. I've only got a, a smaller area to, to cover this time. I might try and practice doing like one beads. One bead. Not that I'll ever do that on, on someone. Just one bead marbling. That would be quite fun to learn. Actually, look, so looking forward to doing stuff when everything starts reopening. Just going out for the day, just going out for a nice meal. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Hey. All right, coming back to that, this bottom, uh, this pinky finger. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be going in with that glitter, so I'm just gonna. Just put a wet bead of the blue down. Just so there's a bit of a base. I don't really like going in with glitters. I never really go in with glitters without putting a base down. I feel like it just shows, shows the glitter off much better. And obviously when you do get the chunky glitters, um, you have got the gaps and things with the chunky glitters. So at least when you put a base colour down, um, you won't really see like the nail plate or whatever is underneath. Okay, let's place that on and I'm just going to just pull some of that glitter down. I want some of them, obviously them stars to be on show. I like how some of them are like covered up as well with the glitter. Really such a nice glitter this. Okay, I'm just going to get another. I just literally want one. Oops. Um, sorry, one star. Just there at the bottom. Oh, like that. And again, I'm just going to go over with some of this uh, acrylic. I feel like that just gives it that... Um, that, that's something extra, that extra sparkle. Beautiful. Okay, on this one, I'm going to... Uh, what won't be a second? Just need to pause it. Sorry about that. Um, my other phone, my work phone was ringing, so I just had to grab it. Um, right, sorry. So, coming back to this nail, I'm going to do... I'm going to try and do a triple ombre. So let us, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to start with the pink of my pastel colours. So this is going to be the bottom, the bottom third of my nail. I'm just going to feather that back just to hopefully get that seamless blend that I'm going to attempt. I'm just going to put a tiny dot more just on the end of that tip. I always let my um, 
my acrylic set before I go in with my next colour. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go in with some of these. This is the only product that isn't Glitter Planet. Oh, it's not going to focus to show you now, is it? These absolutely gorgeous stars. So these are from the Glitter Pot Girls Pastel Cutout Stars. So that's them. They're absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to put some of those on a trail on this nail. So I'm going to go in with some clear and just pop that over this nail. Okay, and I'm just going to go, oops, go in with some of these. They're so cute. I've never seen anything like this before. Absolutely love them. So nice. I want some hall ones now, so I'll get some of these hall stars. Oops. Put that in there. How nice are they? So cute. It must be quite warm in my room tonight. This acrylic's setting so quick. It's going to go in with just a bit more of that acrylic. Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> that was my stomach. Saying, feed me. See, we've got some little um, hexagony shapes in here. I don't know if I can find another one. These are so cute. I'll cap those properly, that's just to hold them in place, but they are so cute. I love them. Okay, this one is now, whoops set i think i'm managing pretty well with these really long nails so i'm going to go in on this one with the blue so i'll put that on that join push it out to the side and then we just want to take the tip of that acrylic and just pull it down I am going to put um, um, a glitter, a glitter swoosh on this anyway. I think so. It's not. It doesn't. It's not going to have to be perfect. Just going to go back in with some of that pink. Blend that up. Gorgeous. Okay. And while I'm waiting for that to set, I am just going to uh, start capping these. I'm getting so far to the bottom of my clear acrylic now with Glitter Planet. I think I need some more. So with my first bead, obviously I'm always checking side to side anyway, um, but I generally use that bead um, for my apex. And then I go in with another bead 
I just fade that back and then that covers the rest of my nail with that bead. Obviously check in at all times. I've got my apex in the right place. I'm absolutely in love with all stars. Oh, I can't wait to cap the um, top coat that I was after. Okay, I'm just going to cap this nail now. I'm actually not using, um, I said all my products were Glitter Planet, but the obviously them stars aren't. And this brush isn't. I'm using my goddess, um, goddess brush, which is one of my faves. Okay, so the same again. I've just done my apex bead. Now I'm going in my second bead. And that will do the rest of that nail. As I've said before on any of my other videos, if there's any nails or anything you would like to try and... Uh, sorry, you would like to see me create, just let me know and I will try my best to do that for you. Okay, on my ombre one now, I'm going to go in with my, my lilac colour. Okay, so I need to push this right up. Oh, what's that? So let me get rid of that. I need to push this colour right up into that cuticle. Obviously, without touching the skin, use your brush as a barrier. And we're just bringing that tip of that bead down. I'm just going to go in with some of that blue and just feather that up so that will blend nice together. As I said, I am going in with some glitter, so my um, ombre doesn't have to be perfect. If I was just leaving that, what I probably would do um, is just go over the top with that pink I used earlier. Um, I've seen a few people like going over their ombres with... Um, like a light pink or like a glass pink as I call it and it really does give it a really nice effect so while that ombre just sets I'm just going to go in with um, some clear on this one I can't believe how much I'm in love with those uh, cut out stars absolutely gorgeous and um, obviously, if you do want to go and treat yourself to some products from the Glitter Pot Girls, um, I do have a discount code, which is Lucy10. So if you do, you can save yourself some pennies. Um, uh, everyone loves to save the pennies. They have some amazing glitters and they have some amazing new products that are going to be coming out soon i hope i don't get in trouble for saying that so definitely watch this space and give the glitter pot girls a follow on instagram to obviously keep up to date with anything 
knew what is coming out. Okay, so I've cut that. So excited to uh, top coat this nail. <laughs> Okay, and then on this one, I'm just going to go, th um, I'm just going to do just a bit of a, a bit of a uh, swoosh along the nail with this blue. Sorry, if you've watched any more of my other videos, and one, I forget that I'm actually filming something. So I sit here like in silence, then remember maybe I should say something. Um, and two, I am such a faffer when it comes to nails. If everything's not in the exact place where I want it, oh, I'm just fuming. <laughs> and I have to mess with it until it is where I want it. Okay, I'm just going to go in again with some of that glitter acrylic just because it's absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, I will go through everything that I've used uh, when, my, when my nails are curing in the lamp. Oh, they go really, really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to recap on this nail now. As I said before, you're tucking that into the cuticle area. I leave most of my product there and just feather that uh, at the bottom of that bead because you want that product obviously to be your apex. And you can define your apex more later on obviously you want to get your product application on the best you can if you're anything like me i hate filing um so if you get your product application right it is less filing but obviously to begin with that probably won't be the case so you can rectify things with filing after obviously defining your your apex and things I've not done any filing um, on camera yet because filing really is a bane in my life. <laughs> um, if you do, if anyone does want to see me do some filing, um, I will do that for you. I don't know how difficult it would be to try and file on camera on one of these hands. It might be something I'd have to probably do on myself maybe. Uh, because I do have this hand in all sorts of positions when I file. So I don't know if I'd be able to uh, give a good demo of it really. So they're all capped. Um, I'm just going to let those set and then I'm going to do some uh, filing. Um, and then I'll be back with you guys. Hi okay, guys. Okay, I've filed, buffed and all that jazz on these. So I'm just going to top coat now. In desperate need of some new top coat. Where the magic happens when you top coat. Oh, I actually love these. So nice those pastel colours. And stars are gorgeous. Absolutely love them. Oh, 
you haven't got these stars, guys, you definitely need to um, head over and get them. Okay, I'm just going to pop those in the lamp. And while they are in, I'll go over with what I've used. So I've just top coated there with the... <coughs> excuse me. With the Nailmate Super Gloss. And I used Nailmate Core Powder Milky Pink. I used the Blizzard White. And obviously I cut in the Crystal Clear. I used Nail pa Nailmate acrylics so i use some of the pastel ones so we have dreamy we have dusky pink powder blue and baddie that was that glitter one that i put over the top um obviously the glitter i used was um hazy by glitter planet absolutely stunning that glitter and I also use those gorgeous, sorry, those gorgeous um, uh, pastel cutout stars from the Glitter Pot Girls. They're so different. If you haven't got them, I suggest you add them to your collection. Uh, I use the Glitter Planet, just a normal box, but the, uh, sorry, the, the, the easy tips that I used. And obviously I said I top coated with the top coat from Glitter Planet and these are the nails. Okay, I'm just going to zoom you in. So these are the finished result. Absolutely love those stars. So cute. I'm just going to pop some beautiful oil off. Using Flower Blast Cuticle Oil. Oh, I'm CJP. Oops, sorry about that. I <laughs> moved my camera down to show you the nails, and now it's in the blooming way. Gorgeous then. Hope you like watching this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.